Here's a huge mistake that people make when buying a business. They spend their own money. Yes, you heard that right. When people buying a business put their own money into a deal, it doesn't always work out the way they expect. You see, the traditional view of buying a business is that you find a business to buy, uh, find out what the owner wants for the business, and then you go to the bank to borrow the money. The bank will probably want your house, your property as collateral for that loan. You take the loan and you give all that money to the owner of the business. They hand you the keys and good luck with that because now you've got a business and you haven't got any money. So why shouldn't you do it that way? Well, quite simply, when you put your own money into a deal, especially if that money's secured with your real estate, with your house, then you are opening yourself up to a whole lot of risk. So what if I could show you a different way of doing it? What if I could show you how to buy a business without using a penny of your own money? And I have people on my mastermind programs doing exactly that for their first deal, for their second deal. Even if you've got money in the bank right now, I would say to you, don't spend it. Keep it in the bank. There are smarter ways of buying businesses than spending your own cash. Now, how do we fund the acquisition if we're not going to fund it by reaching into our own pocket? A very, very good question indeed. And there are several options depending upon the type of business we are going to buy. The first thing to remember is you can't buy a business that you can't finance. Now, you see, what people do at the beginning of their business buying journey is they think of that slightly differently. They say, I can't buy a business that I can't afford. And that stops them. They say, I can't afford that business. I haven't got the money in the bank to buy that business. Therefore, I can't buy it. Well, that's the wrong approach. That's the wrong mindset. What you should be thinking is, I can buy any business I want as long as I can finance it. And the opposite of that being, if I can't finance it, I can't buy it, I just move along to the next one. So there are lots of different types of finance available to people wanting to buy a business. We can use different aspects of the business as collateral for the loan. We can use the business itself. We can use the debtor book, the accounts receivables as collateral for a loan. We can use the real estate as collateral for a loan. And we can use the fixed assets of the business, the equipment, the machinery, the vehicles as collateral for the loan. So we've got multiple different ways and sometimes we have to piece together several different ways, stitch them together to create the finance required to acquire the business. But the key thing is this, you don't put your own money into the deal. Very, very important. The beginner deal maker does the exact opposite. They, they cash in their pensions, they raid the piggy bank, they get all the money and they give it to the seller and they always regret it. So, very important mistake. You never put your own money into a deal. You always use someone else's and you will always get a better deal. If you like content like this, then like this video, subscribe to the channel, tap the notifications bell, and below in the video description, there's a link to a brand new free training course on buying a business successfully.